Hello, welcome to ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists online tutorial. In this video, we will be looking at ways to put together a good literature review. And so, what is a literature review? Is a collection of knowledge and findings from other researchers who have done work within the research field or topic you are interested in. In other words, is an explanation of what you have learned from other researchers after reading journal articles, books, and other sources relevant to your research topic. And all that brings us to this question. Why do we write a literature review? First point, to lay a foundation for new ideas. So you can build up your research question from it by interpreting the work of other researchers. To identify a gap for further research by identifying limitations of theories or limitations of products or even services. To establish credibility of your work, in simpler terms, to provide a proof of how true is your work and your hypothesis develops from it. Now that we know what is literature review and why do we have to produce it, let us learn on how to produce it. Here are three easy steps. Step one, collect data. Collect enough and relevant information from various sources such as journal articles, books, and other sources relevant to your research topic. You may quickly access information you need from Google by simply entering your research topic. However, some of the information may not be accredited. So, accredited information may be found via Google Scholar, which has a variety of journal articles. You may even consider searching information from books such as encyclopedias, textbooks, and science magazines. Step 2. Read and understand. Go through your collected information thoroughly and make sure you understand. It is advisable to go through a particular material more than once to better your level of understanding. Step 3. Write. Try to rewrite the information that you have read in a logical order by using your own words. And make sure to incorporate references in your summary. I highly recommend that you go through our material on how to reference your sources. When doing a literature review, you should use a funnel approach. Start abroad and narrow down to what is relevant to your project, as demonstrated on attached picture. Let us take an example of bee research from our previous videos. You will need to start by describing species of bees from different areas. You might even consider describing their biological benefits. Then, identify what affects their population, as, as reported by other researchers. Finally, Predict factors that might have contributed to the change in bee population in your area of interest. A good literature review consists of three basic elements. The background information, which is a quick idea of the research topic. The body, an in-depth layout of all the information you have collected to help the reader understand all there is to know about your research topic or area and recommendations the discussion of what you have thrown from reviewing literature a literature review can also guide you to identify the appropriate method that can apply for your experimentation testing or prototype development remember when you select a research topic you have to work to collect all the information you need to understand it. You need to become the master of your field of research. Now that you have completed the literature review and your research question, hypothesis and aim have been done, 
you can move on to materials and methods section which will be covered at a later tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.